Welcome to another episode of Rhythm of Faith. Everybody, this is your boy, Oslin Jadort. Listen, man, thank you guys for always being a part of this show. We appreciate the support. We appreciate the encouragement, man. You guys stop me all the time and be like, man, listen, I'm enjoying your show. I appreciate it, man. To God be the glory. It is a privilege to come into your homes every week to bring you encouraging words from our featured artist of the week. Whether it's an encouraging word through song or music video, it is a privilege to come into your homes every single week on Rhythm of Faith. But listen, man, this is a brand new episode that's coming up this week. And listen, of course, we're going to bring you the best in Bohemian Gospel. We're going to bring you some of the best around the world. But listen, of course, our featured artist of the week, we have a phenomenal, world-changing artist of the week, man. Listen, I can't wait for y'all for to check this woman of God out. She is powerful. But in the meantime, I want you guys to check out our sponsors and just check out some of our latest videos and we will be right back with Rhythm of Faith. to do today.
raise your hands and tell it. I worship. We make this vow. We worship. Lord, we worship. I worship. Folks, you're going to faith. We'll be right back.
I said, don't go away, folks. Rhythm of Faith. We'll be right back. Welcome to another episode of Rhythm of Faith. This is your boy, Uslan Jadot. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys are enjoying all these videos so far, man. Listen, we have some talent in this country. I know I say that all the time, but I mean it. But listen, man, we have our featured artist of the week. This woman of God, I remember the first time I encountered her ministry. Uh, you know, persons, when you hear their ministry, then, you know, shortly after you just forget, you know, it's just a name that you remembered, but there are those who minister and then they leave an indelible impact on your life. And this woman of God is one of them, our featured artist of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Bernadette Turnquest. Bernadette, welcome to Rhythm of Faith. Thank you for having me here. It is so good to have you here, man. Listen, I mean, I know, you know, for me, it's a privilege to, to work with people on, in one capacity and then, then just sit down and talk to them on this level. It makes it so much easier. You know, you don't have, you don't, you don't have to feel them out because you know um, the, the fruit of what it, what it is you're dealing with. But let's, get, let's just get right into it. Um, we, now, we usually save this question for last or close to the end of the interview, but take us back to your first real encounter with God. I remember everybody saying, oh my God, you need to go in the choir. I did. And uh, we were having, it was Reverend Frazier actually, mm. who created the choir in school. He was my music teacher. And um, it was a cr coming towards the Christmas and I remember the song, he said, you're gonna lead this song. Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child. Wow. Jesus. Mm. The children, I remember Holy Spirit took me over. I think that was the first time that happened in my life. And the, the glory of God came in. I, I, I couldn't put words to it then. And the children were weeping. They, I, I mean, I was weeping and they were weeping. And the presence of God, that, so I would have been like about 16, 17. And I said, oh, what a wonderful child. And they, they were just clapping and singing the joy of the, the Lord filled the auditorium. I never forgot that moment. You know, but I, I want to ask you about the transition from being a minister, a prophetess, which you still are, uh, and then you're transitioning now into being what we call an artist. What has that transition been like? Um, somewhat, I'll be honest with you, restricting for me. <laughs> because I had to learn, and I'm still learning, how to, because I'm a free flow. I just flow and move, but I had to get some things together, even all of this dress up right now. <laughs> right? Uh, you know, my, 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 my sister and my daughter and my best friend won't allow me to get away with it. No, Brian, you gotta, you gotta fix your face. You gotta have to do all of that. But I, I realized the necessity of it. Um, presentation is very important for me as an artist, and uh, I love to dress, don't get me wrong, but, but some, some of it is a little restricting for me. But of course, people used to make the joke of me in church. Now you see her? Because <laughs> when worship is finished, everything's gone, the makeup, the crying, whatever. So that's why I hardly ever do it, but it, the transition for me is, is wonderful because it gave me a great exposure. Because there were a lot of things I learned, even as you, when you came into my life, that I didn't know. And I'm grateful to the Lord because I had to learn the ins and outs of business concerning your, your music. That was one of the major things for me. Mm -hmm. And so I'm loving it though because I'm, I'm seeing that I can put on the different hats and know how to maneuver. Not everyone really knows about the, the, the journey, but, but Unscripted now is, I know you don't like to, in ministry you don't like to use this term, but Unscripted Worship is now a brand. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that journey from the Unscripted that first started a few years ago to what we have today. We started with uh, breaking, you know, the, the, the internet breaking up and you could hardly mm. understand some of the songs uh, because the, the internet was unstable uh, with, the, with my phone that wasn't, I know you all say iPhone, it wasn't an iPhone. Uh -huh. But, um, so I had to use my best friend phone. I, when I shifted, I said, this is not working. Mm. But I've watched God, man. Somebody just came on my show one day and then decided, as persons came into my life, young people particularly, I'm so grateful for young people. Mm. Um, particularly, they just transformed it. They, no, no, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. We have, and I'm looking at like, oh, and I remember standing up one day watching them in operation. And Tanisha was the first that came. God blessed her and, and she came into my life and transformed me as a person. And then uh, transformed, um, I, then Christoph came and then went to the next level. You came and went to another level. 
because all of you brought a level of exposure to unscripted that I didn't know could exist. Now I prayed for stuff mm -hmm. and when it happened one day the Lord says, I need you to pause. I said, yeah. He says, look around you. What you've prayed for is manifested. Wow. So the people and the dedication, all of you guys came and dedicated, just Nisha behind the scenes, dedicated mm -hmm. herself to making sure everything was in order. So it, it was, fun, it's phenomenal, I mean phenomenal. And I had to pause it one day and just give God the praise and be grateful and thankful. For the next few moments, if you can, um, whatever word of encouragement that the Lord has, you know, probably been pressing on your heart for the last day or two, or even this morning in your devotion, that you would like to share with anyone, or one of our viewers that may need, just a word of encouragement right now. I am passionate about the word of God and I want to encourage you because I've watched the way it changed my life. When we change our minds, our lives change. We try to change something without changing internally. It is the word of God that brings transformation. I will say even as, an, as a gospel artist and one who loves God, we cannot say that we love God if we don't obey his command. We cannot obey his command if we don't know what they are. And so I want to encourage you to be intentional about spending time in the word. You will see the transformation. Thank you all for tuning into this episode of Rhythm of Faith. We want to thank our guest artist of the week, our featured artist of the week, Bernadette Turn West. And listen, we're going to leave you with her latest single from her unscripted worship project. I sung on this too. <laughs> unscripted worship project, and this song is called The Sound. Until next time, see y'all later on Rhythm of Faith. Whoa, da, 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 da,